Okay, I think we're ready for this one. Now, something different today. Uh, Mongo, that's my mate with four legs and a lot of fur, has been asked to contribute something to the website of the folks where he came from. He, he was a rescue dog. And here in France there's a rescue society for Dalmatians called Dalmatians Sans Famille. Dalmatians who haven't got any home. And so uh, this is Mongo's contribution. He wrote it last week and sent it off to them. And uh, so I'm right. I'm reading it on his behalf because he's not very good at English. Uh, he just speaks dog. He's actually the most voluble Dalmatian we've ever had. He's all the time. He's talking. Uh, he talks to everybody. It's just a job to understand him. Anyway, I've got these words down. Um, they are written on a piece of paper and close to the screen, so I might just have to glance across and uh, have a look at them from time to time. So here, I'm going to read this off and then I'm going to add some pictures to it. Uh, hello, my name is Mongo and I'm the sixth, sixth Dalmatian to live with my two human friends and I live with them, live with them here in France. Consequently, they have a lot of things used by my predecessors. For example, I wear a coat that was made for Dalmatian number one, Dinon, who arrived with my family in 1979 as a puppy and became an actual working carriage dog uh, who spent many years with carriages in the UK. I go for excursions with my male friend almost every day. And because I'm so active, I'm attached to his bicycle with a special gadget he bought from Germany. It is very safe and means he can pedal some of the time. And when I get excited, I can pull him along for a while. I love going for trips in their camping car uh, with my other two doggy friends, Milu and Henri. We travel to various different areas where we can sniff around and explore. Yeah, he likes that. My early life was not very nice for me and I was rescued by very kind people from Dalmatian Sans Famille, a French Dalmatian rescue charity. My life changed enormously when I found my new family and I'm very happy now. As an extra comment, Mongo's family. I guess that's us. Would like to say that we that they are very impressed with the organization called Dalmatian Sans Famille and how thorough they were to ensure that the dog went to a suitable home. There we are. Uh, there's included in this are some links to um, the Dalmatian videos you can see on this channel, and there's a link to Dean on the Dalmatian picture book. And there's some photos. So we're going to include some photos. So there we are. That's a little bit something different today. It's uh, da, uh, D, <laughs> Mongo's message for Dalmatian Son Famille here in France. So we're going to include the photos. And don't forget, folks, if you like what we do, think about contributing by subscribing. Subscribing. That's the word. And if you like it, give us a like, you know, it all helps and put a few comments on, you know, we're open to comments. <laughs> so um, there we are. Thanks for being with us today. And uh, don't forget www.crackerbooks.fr. And thank you for the moment.